China's government has signaled that stability and transforming its economy will continue to be a priority with a GDP growth target of around 5% set for the year ahead. Chinese Premier Li Chang made these announcements at the opening of the country's top legislature's annual meeting today. It comes amid increased attention on the country's weaker than expected post-pandemic recovery. CNA's Olivia Xiong with this report. It's been one year since China's new leadership has been in office, following a five-yearly reshuffle last year. As its annual legislative sessions opened in Beijing, all eyes were on the country's premier, Li Qiang. Li Qiang Tongzhi, report. The country's number two ranked official revealed that China aims to grow its economy by around 5% this year. The inflation target for the year was maintained at 3% as well. But while the goal is the same as 2023's and in line with expectations, analysts say achieving the same target this year is ambitious, something the Premier seemed to acknowledge. <laughs> Amid a slew of challenges facing China's economy from its real estate sector to weak consumer demand and business confidence, Premier Li announced that the budget deficit to GDP ratio for this year will be set at 3%, unchanged from last year. While this is below some expectations, Mr Li said China would issue ultra-long special treasury bonds over the next few years to implement major national strategies and build up security capacity in key areas. About 139 billion US dollars worth is expected in the first tranche this year. The Chinese Premier also made pledges to improve the business environment amid weak confidence. Foreign direct investment growth reached a three decade low last year. Premier Li also spoke about expanding domestic demand and addressed the biggest drag on its economy. He said the government will refine real estate policies, a key slogan that homes are for living, not speculation, was omitted this year, previously seen as a sign of restrictive policies. More details on measures outlined in the government work report will likely be fleshed out in the coming days by other ministers and Chinese officials. But we won't be hearing directly from the Chinese Premier after the government announced on Monday that it was scrapping his annual news conference, breaking from decades of tradition. Still, businesses and investors will likely be keeping a close lookout for any further statements on where the world's second largest economy is headed. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.